Hello friends, my name is Pratim Dutta and I am back here again with some new stuff and today I am going to show you how to control a motor using an IR sensor uh, in infrared proximity sensor and so now I am going to show you the components I am using this is a DC motor of 300 RPM of 12 volt I am going to use some uh, some of the jumper wires I am using and one battery of 9 volt battery I am going to use the breadboard and L293 D motor driver IC. The pin configuration of this IC was is can be easily available on the internet or in my previous uh, videos. You can just uh, go through the pin configuration. It is easily available. And uh, one five volt uh, five volt DC supply. Since I don't have a five volt DC supply with me, I'm using this charger which output is 4.7 volt. It, it can be used. So I'm using this. If you are available with any five volt supply. You can just take that one. The 5 volt supply is for the L293 D motor driver IC. We have to give a 5 volt supply to this motor driver IC. So we want 5 volt DC supply. The main component that is the IC infrared sensors. These are the infrared sensors. It is a compact module. The different components are compact together, combined together to form this module. So you can see there is two LEDs. One is black, one is white. White is the transmitter and the black is the receiver. Actually, how it works, I'm gonna tell you. Okay, let's uh, let's talk about the what are the components you use. This white one is a transmitter, a black one is a receiver, one potentiometer, one op amp is there, resistors are there, and one LED is there. Okay, and the it works up to five volt, and it's better. It's it will if you give more than a five volt to this module, it will burn out. So it's better you don't give any five volt more than a five volt. So how do you work? Uh, when you give a 5 volt supply to this terminal that is the 5 volt uh, this one the red one the 5 uh, five volt supply and this blue one you give a ground 5 volt supply then this LED the transmitting LED emits some light which are not visible to our eyes when an object come in front of it the, the light that is uh, emitted reflect, reflect touching the object reflect back to the uh, receiver so the receiver receives some light that is a high signal then the LED will glow so this is the process it is simple you can easily it is also available in the internet also the working is easily available on it so there are total three terminal the uh, one is the 5 volt supply one is the ground another is the uh, output this this brown one is the output uh, so let's see the working now gonna connect the l293 d motor driver ic now the pin configuration is easily available of this ic in the internet and it is also available in my previous videos also now the pin number one and pin number 16 should be given a five volt supply so i will short circuit this one and i'm gonna give the five volt supply from the charger i'm just put the positive here the negative over here and I'm gonna give a 5 volt supply to this. I will short circuit this positive end. I will connect. Okay, it's done. Pin number 1 and pin number 16 is done. Pin number 3, uh, 4, and 5 is grounded. So I will short circuit it and I will connect one of it to the ground. It's done. Pin number 3 and pin number 6 is for the motor. Pin number 3 and pin number 6. I will just connect pin number 3 and pin number 6. It's connected. 6. Okay. It's done. Now pin number 8. Pin number 8 is for the external supply. So I'm going to take the 9 volt supply. I'm just connect to the positive terminal of this 9 volt supply to the pin number 8 and a negative terminal of this supply to the ground. Okay, this is the negative supply. I'm just gonna connect it to the ground. Okay, and it's done. Now the main part comes for the module that is uh, IR sensor. There are three terminals the positive, the negative, 
and the output I'm just gonna connect the positive terminal to 5 volt supply to this and be caution about it that we don't give up five more than a 5 volt supply to this module now I'm just connect the output we can give the output signal to point number uh, pin number two or pin number seven it is optional because if we give a pin number two if we give a signal to a pin number two then the motor will rotate in a clockwise direction and if we give a, pin, uh, a signal to pin number seven then it will give a anti-clockwise anti it will rotate in an anti-clockwise motion uh, rotation so it's uh, your wish in which direction you want to rotate the motor so I'm just connect it to the pin number two of this IC okay it's done and a negative of this that is the ground I'm just gonna connect it to the negative of the 5 volt it's almost done okay I think so it is almost done the signal is there there might be some loose connection Now it's ready. You can see when you give a signal, when an object comes in front of this IR sensor, then it will glow and the motor will start to rotate. So you can see the motor has started to rotate. You can uh, you can uh, change the distance by changing the the knob. A small knot is there. A small knob is there in, uh, on the top of the. Uh, potentiometer you can just vary that uh, knob and you can change the distance at what distance you want to detect the object i'm just uh, the knob is at a certain distance it detect the object at, at a distance of this much and if you kept the hand at this much if you so it will not detect at this distance it will detect the object and start to rotate so this is a simple project so the only limitation here is the your imagination so Build your imagination and there is no limit in it. Thank you. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe.